Item number SCP-3260 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Entrance into SCP-3260 is to be dissuaded by posted guards. Any subjects emerging from SCP-3216 should be engaged with maximum non-lethal force and taken to Site-85 for questioning. Every 30 days, three field operatives are to enter SCP-3216 and determine if any changes to the internal structure have taken place. Description SCP-3216 is the collective designation for three identical buildings located in New York City, New York. The buildings are designated SCP-3216-1, SCP-3216-2, SCP-3216-3 and located in the boroughs of Queens, the Bronx and Manhattan respectively. Each instance of SCP-3216 is 12 stories tall and constructed of red brick. The windows of each building are boarded up. Outside of individuals associated with the foundation, nobody has been observed interacting with the building. The only known method of entering an SCP-3216 instance is through the emergency exit located at the back of each building. The interior of each SCP-3216 instance is shared with one another through an unknown spatial anomaly. Measurements have shown the internal space to be three times larger than what would be allowed by the exterior of each building. Any human entering any instance of SCP-3216 will be unable to leave the space until 6 days, 13 hours, 12 minutes, and 41 seconds have passed. After this time limit has passed, they will disappear and reappear outside of the entrance they used to enter. Floors 11, 6, and 1 are the only spaces of SCP-3216's interior that show signs of habitation. Three rooms on floor 11 are locked upon the initial discovery of SCP-3216. They contained 157 electronic devices whose exact function and construction are still not understood. It is currently believed that they were used for computing and information storage. Half the rooms on floor 6 contain beddings. In total, there are enough accommodations to house 350 individuals. The floor also contains spaces for food preparations, bathrooms, and what is believed to be clothing storage. All recovered articles of clothing are unfit for use by humans, being too large, made for six limbs, and crafted of a material that undergoes an exothermic reaction upon contact with mammalian skin. Floor 1 contained seven rooms that were unable to be opened upon initial discovery. After using controlled demolitions to bypass the intended entrances, Foundation reconnaissance teams found two categories of rooms. Three rooms contained equipment most likely used for surgical procedures. The four remaining each contained five cots, three containers of an unknown red liquid, and eight human skeletons. The purpose of a green door on the first floor has yet to be determined. They are located on the outermost wall of the building. There is no corresponding door on the exterior of any of the three buildings. All attempts to open the door or breach the surrounding area have been unsuccessful. Measurements have shown a continual emission from the door of 10 millisieverts of radiation per second. Every 16 hours and 7 minutes, a flash of light can be seen through a crack in the bottom of the door.